Yeah, I 11 agree. cents. A Chilean peso is worth 11 cents right now. Right. Right. Mexican anybody, peso had is anybody worth 18 cents. Had anybody so, seen this movie? No, and that's what's my and that's what my opinion is worth. I had never seen no. it. I'd never heard of it. I I mentioned to Sheila. I said so. But she says I've heard of it. Every it, time it I only walk, came out. Oh, yeah. it's getting a lot of it's getting a lot of press right now. Yeah. Like, after yes. we after we do our Sunday nights, I walk I walk into the living room and Sheila says, "What are the movies? What are the first things she asked me?" And I said, "Well, for for uh, October, Chris picked a couple of horror movies, and one of them is about Pinochet." And she goes, "Oh, he's a vampire." Oh, okay. <laughs> she watches more Netflix than you do, no. doesn't she? <laughs> this is no, a- she just guessed. No, this film is brand new, which is great. This is one of the newest films yeah. we've ever watched. I, I I mean, I'm not familiar with Chilean. I, mean, I didn't even Venice know who he was. It was in the Venice Biennial in <laughs> August. What's that? What's that, Jim? It was in the Venice Biennial, Biennial oh, in August. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, it got a lot of buzz. End of August. Out. But it's it pretty a lot of us coming out of there. I don't know why, because I thought for the most part, the middle part of this film is very dull. Uh, no, this movie sucks ass. ass. This John, movie sucks. I, I got my peso on the John, table. Oh, yeah, then, you got your peso. Then fucking throw your go. peso down, go. motherfucker. Come on. We're Here waiting for you to get your point. Go. Here it comes. Here it comes. I had to, I had to preface with Sheila's thing. Um, so, <laughs> yes, this movie this movie has some really cool moments, and it lo- mostly looks really good. Uh, but overall, I thought it was more entertaining as a premise than a movie. Yeah. In fact, much of it, particularly like the first half hour, which is all voiceover. Uh, oh, my God. Is more like. A, and spoiler alert, we didn't know who was voiceover. I will get to that, too, Jared. But no, I'm saying there, for the first half hour, it's voiceover and flashbacks. And it felt to me more like an s- idea for a movie than an actual movie. It was like a sketch of a of, yeah. of, yeah. Um, and, it's and like I you kept like, waiting for it to start. <laughs> yes, and then when it did start, where's the movie? Was like an unfunny the movie? Saturday Night Live. When it schedule. when it finally did start, a half hour in, I was really disappointed about where it landed. It's like he lives in France, he moves to Chile, he becomes Pinochet, he rules Chile for about twenty years, and they breeze over that in this first half hour without actually showing you anything. I'm like, I want to see vampire, a, a vampire dictator run Chile, and you never get to see it. Well, you, I have because he's too I have one, uh, coronary well, yeah. smoothies. Oh, so you, you, I I, uh, I, mean, I thought I thought the faking the death scene was funny, and he's in under the glass in the coffin, right. and, and he up, opens he his eyes. His eyes and yeah, that's around. great. But you know but, why, John? You know why though, right? Because budget. This, film, this no, this film is intended for a Chilean audience. They know this stuff already. It's like no, but they haven't no, seen it. No, they on, haven't seen a on. version where. What, wait, what, no, what, you what, hold on. Not intended for no, what Chilean thinking, audience. I mean, I mean, no, he's that's, John's going to say he hasn't seen no, a version where he's a no, vampire though. No, let me wedge, let me, <laughs> even the Chilean <laughs> audience doesn't know that. No, let me wedge a point in here. This is like, what if Richard Nixon was oh, a Jesus. vampire? You know, you don't want to see that. You don't want to see that. I want to see him in the White House being president vampire, not we a daughter. We know that shit. Yeah. Right. Right. It's daughter not as interesting as happens after he's out of office, though. We yeah, we want to see. We want to see. We want to see Watergate while he's a vampire. vampire. Like, not. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, think, I think it was a decision. Gordon this. Liddy into a fucking vampire. I, I think it was oh, a decision to keep it. This film needs to be made. <laughs> it was a decision to keep it contained and keep it on budget. Was to to set it all Man. after his reign, right? Okay. More or less, yeah. They couldn't have so, the crowd scenes in this one. And it's a it's a choice. It's like I'm not going to rewrite the movie. That's the choice they made. So okay, maybe they can do something with this. The old man doddering around the mansion. Um, maybe it's not a fatal error. And I, and um, but I was pretty bored for an hour. They do not though. They don't. They don't. Um, brief moments of maybe too graphic violence, but mostly boring. Um, and the hammer murder, by the way, is so fucking explicit that I was. It set me up to expect this sort of. Oh, that was cool. Grand Guignol. <laughs> I, I expected a fuck ton of violence. And this is one shot of a woman getting her head bashed in and wasn't it's like almost out of character for the rest of the film. Right. Yeah. And the rest of the movie, I, like it's 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 bad fucking like wax heads that they pick up after someone gets fucking. Yeah, I thought they looked I like that they looked pretty good, but I I, can can someone, I, thought, I, thought I may have really uh I may have dozed off a little bit, but can someone answer yeah. because the, the biggest question I have and they probably answered it, so this is stupid. Why the fuck did he age? I thought vampires don't age. How did he, he get? He didn't old? drink blood for an extended he wasn't period of time, yeah. so he could pretend Fine. to they, die. They literally, they literally okay. explain. And then it. when they eat the vampire heart, they get young again. Uh, this movie makes okay. up its own yeah. vampire rules, which is fine. That's yeah. Yeah. Sure. I, I don't like it. Allowed, every allowed. every movie every movie makes up their own vampire rules, but most of them 
still stay within, you know, the regular a, vampire thing a, under an umbrella in a parameter yeah. of sorts. If you like, guys will, if you guys will give me another peso, I'm gonna go tell on, you that go the on. fatal flaw, the fatal flaw of this movie. Cash in your centavos. Dude. Yeah, go, go. It's go. not the pacing. It's not the flashbacks. It's not um, any of that. It is that this movie does not know who the main character is. Oh, interesting. That's absolutely it's Margaret true. Thatcher. It ha- yes, oh my- it is Margaret oh my Thatcher. God. Spoiler alert. She doesn't show up until the last 20 minutes of the film. She narrates it, and it's they they saved it. They wanted it to be a big surprise. Right. But who so who did. is... Who's the little boy at the end? Her son. Called it ten minutes in. That's Pinochet. No, so literally, so right. I'm I'm watching, but in the the eighties or seventies. I'm watching the movie and I'm like, because he gets rejuvenated. Yeah, I'm watching the movie and I'm like, why does this woman who sounds like Margaret Thatcher keep talking? Like, I literally, I'm like, why does why does this what what is going on here? Like for a while, I thought it was for a while, I thought. And then Margaret fucking Thatcher walks into the movie and I'm like, fuck this. Like, uh, this movie yeah. forever. Like, yeah. I just, oh thought, my god! Thought, you, I will say bad. that you, you probably thought it was just bad Netflix dubbing, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> yes. I was like, also, I did too. I was like, I thought this movie was in Chilean. Why, is like, it why, in, is it, why isn't it subtitled in Spanish? Spanish? Why yeah. is she speaking in English? Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay, right. so they no, do no, answer the question. We all find on, out. Yeah, it subtitles true. everything. It yeah. subtitles the English and the Spanish. Uh, there is no just have the Spanish subtitled, and it's because we've been. I will say this though, because we've been shitting on it. I think this movie looks gorgeous. It looks oh, great. Absolutely it looks gorgeous. fantastic. The, the, the black and white may be a little sleepy. It's so beautiful. But it looks, it looks, if only it was good. I like good. the flying scenes. Too. It's good. It's yeah. a flying yeah, the flying scenes, scenes were awesome. Yeah, we're the flying really, scenes really were cool. The flying nun sequence. Uh, hello. The nun, the poor, the nun thing is that. great. It was really fun and unexpected too. Yeah. If uh, only, so, if, if if only that was in service of a good movie, right? Like, yeah, that, it, yeah. That, that, it, that, that was so dis. It's it's more disappointing when a movie that is this boring and stupid looks this good because mm-hmm. it's just like God, you're wasting talent. Like, I also love the uh, the basement. Those that well, set for the basement where those long right the elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The elevator down in, that was and this guy knows. You know, I haven't. I've seen this is probably the third film by this guy. I've seen. I know he's got many more, but. I didn't care for Spencer, but I really, really liked Jackie. And I think that this guy is a good filmmaker. Yeah. Okay. Did you watch No? I li- and I really liked Spencer. Sandy, did good. Yeah, great. You know? I, I I don't think Sp- Spencer was a bad... I just don't... I didn't like her portrayal. Like the of... performance, yeah. Right, but I like the movie. <laughs> Can I finish before we forget what I said? Yes, yeah. John, Jesus Gentlemen. Christ. <laughs> so, it again, the fatal flaw is this movie Plot doesn't know who the main said. character is. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back this up. So we need somebody... In this film, I don't know who um, to carry it. Somebody who wants something, and we want to see if they get it or not. And there's no central question in this film. There are questions: Is Pinochet going to live or die? Will his kids get his inheritance? Who will cares? his wife who run cares? off? Who will cares? his wife run off with the butler? And most notably, most notably though, will the nun succeed in whatever it is she's trying to do? No, and also who cares? But the movie gets better when she shows up, and I would it say it had she's a good character. Anything. If they had changed it, about an hour, one hour mark, the nun has arrived and there's this one-on-one interview where she's talking to Pinochet and she's getting him to basically admit everything he's ever done and he's falling in love with her. And it's just two shots back and forth of like their faces almost looking into camera. And to me, that was the like one of the best scenes in the movie. And it was like, oh, maybe I do like this movie finally. Nope. <laughs> Um, and and then they kill the nun, like the 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 butler. Another spoiler alert: the butler cuts the nun's head off. It's like so. It's not going to be a movie about her. Vampire. And then immediately after, he gets his head cut off off screen with, they a, need with a dead saw. vampires so that they can become young again. Okay, so <sighs> think about how much better so it would stupid. be. Think about how much better how much better would it have been if after she turned into a vampire, she either flipped and became totally evil and teamed up with Pinochet to murder his family and take over. Uh, as the rich and powerful, or became Blade. You could or, just be Jesus Blade. Yeah. What if she just? What if she just turned on Pinochet, killed him, and the end of the movie is sh- the young, beautiful vampire lady living in the mansion, right? Yes, she inherits all Just money, become yeah. Blade. Just become. Blade. Would steal his watch. I thought like, it was cool though, because the, the 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 vampire was created by the French. The, the The notion of the vampire is is from France, and so that was cool that it started there. In the yeah. movie, no, and then he's he's more originally like a Eastern French dude. European. Oh, I well, I you would know more than me, Jim. But what what I've read was it was I've a read French a creation. couple of academic books about vampires. So. Yeah, yeah. I thought, wait, Why I thought they academic books about vampires. Vampires aren't real. 
Fuck. They aren't real. That's what I mean. The folklore, I mean, like, or whatever. Wait, the creation. Folklore, yeah. I thought they yeah. were written in Transylvania I, I think, by Transylvanians but, about real vampires that lived in the hills. Yeah, but I thought it was long. cool that he, I thought it was cool that he, like, sucked Marie Antoinette's blood after she got. That's oh, he really stole her head. <laughs> Licking the guillotine. Oh, actually, the yeah, the guillotine, story, that was awesome. The, that's the stuff great. in the far past with, 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 the, with the revolution in Manchester. I left, I love, that's my favorite part of the film. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I was kind of hoping it was just going to be that. Yeah, me too. Like, I, thought, yeah, I yeah. knew it was about Pinochet, and I was like, oh, I was hoping it was anything but an old guy. It didn't go to the 50s, it was in the 2000s. Oh, yeah. I wanted it to be anything but what it was. That's the one thing I liked. It was it's the historical background they gave the guy. And the second one was actually watching his family squabble about money it was actually kind mm -hmm. of funny. That, it was, I thought yeah, that was, yeah. yeah. It's funny. Yeah. It's, 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 it's got a lot of great elements that yeah, just vampires never can gel. There's this never gel. There's this weird... There's this That's because they made Margaret Thatcher the main fucking oh, character. Oh, she my God. Movie until the end. <laughs> Every <laughs> time somebody like, mentions Margaret Thatcher, I get madder in yeah, this movie. Thing is, a this mistake. Is, I, it's there's a mistake. A, there's, a, there's a weird Trumpian angle on this thing. You know? It's no. Like, no. You don't think so? No, no it's a... No, this is... Existed. No, and, this is clearly I, this is clearly a liberal movie, dude. They're making fun of the yeah. fucking dictators. Not right only way, was Pinochet a vampire, but no, Thatcher they're, was a vampire. They're, 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 they're not. They're not. They're not. Like, they're not, they're not that, admiring yeah. Pinochet. They're saying that uh, fascists have these weird, tight family relations full of useless relatives who. Right. That's not Trumpian. That's not Trumpian. That's very Trumpian. No, that's Seth Meyers. Let's 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 examine. I hate Seth Meyers. Let's examine the last line of the movie. Mm -hmm. If you want something said, get a man. Get a man. If you want if something, you want something done, done, get a woman. Get a woman. I, I said it out loud as she said it. What I the said it fuck? Out loud so if you so if you're curious on what the movie is about, <laughs> I don't know. But don't know first either. of all, I think that's bullshit. But I wouldn't say the opposite either. I mean, mm -hmm. they both we both do and say shit anyway. No. But. This is <laughs> this film is like a, actually this film had a lot of great ideas like Pinochet. Leave vampire, it to Jared to bring Thatcher, a, a great ideas, to like it. a It's like a, it's like oh, a no, 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 no. I Jared's did not, not say that. Misogyny. The movie brought the misogyny. Yeah. This movie is misogynist as yeah, but he is. he lapped it up like yeah. no. I'm saying I'm <laughs> like, saying like, like, like I'm saying like you can't say that. I'm saying I'm saying you can't say that. You can't say the opposite. Either way, you you're picking a side and being a dick. this film is like a dog with a bone. It was like this. Know where have to bury it, just yeah. running around. It's just like it has great ideas, but it doesn't know what to do with it. You know the dog I mean? catches right. the car, it doesn't know what to do. Yes, exactly right. This is what's going on in this film. It's a, I think we talked about a film last week. This I think that's giving you too much credit. Too many good ideas, not enough execution, not enough streamlining. And this is a Netflix problem. The, and the, no main a character. Of, a lot of I, Netflix movies are they probably baked. pitched it really quickly. Yeah, and it is shot. They, it. they do not. It's bake. a better pitch than it is a movie. No. It's yeah. great. It's like, oh, I want to watch that. Up, movie. They bring out the bowl of cocaine. No, from, Net, Netflix uh, films from are badly made because like, they are not. They don't go through a, a a like a studio system winnowing. They're always just this this bullshit that they they're half done. They're half ideas they put on screen. And this is what the, this is a prime example. I love Even how Scott thinks that like these movies are made by Netflix. These movies are made by other filmmakers who Netflix right. says, yeah, Netflix I want just that. Comes in and gives if, money. If, stop, Netflix stop is, thinking that no, Netflix no, makes if, movies. They on. don't make movies. They take but movies from if, filmmakers. No, if, who they're they distributor. Like. Hold on. But if Netflix is a real distributor, they would say, no, this, their film's not ready but you, yet. You sound Keep like a moron when you say that. No, I know that's. No, it's not Amazon. Good. Amazon's oh, a studio. No, they own not to sugarcoat it. Hey, they they bought. Yeah, hey, really. they bought the film that makes. You it sound like Margaret Thatcher. No, they bought the film that makes. It Stop saying Margaret Thatcher. And also Margaret, that Thatcher, means, Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. Thatcher, 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 Thatcher. No, no, you have to say <laughs> Margaret Thatcher naked on a cold day. Margaret Thatcher yeah. naked on a cold day. I'll wait. I'll How wait. does it feel to be the? Mother of a thousand no. dead. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm coming back. I, I'm, I'm actually coming back at you, Jared, oh, because I, I think so that much. I think what you said, Scott, is, you keep freezing, no, dude. You no, know, I, I know the more you hate was, it, was the better more because his voice it, was but, like yeah, stuttering, and, beginning to like it. Okay, well, but I think what, I, th <laughs> I think what you said, Tad, is uh, not Tad. Uh, oh, actually, Jared Jesus. is is dumb. I think that's like Netflix buys these films; they have they exercise control over them. There's no way around that. And the thing is, these guys do no, not. They, they just acquire it and distribute yeah. it, dude. They no, have nothing they, to do they, with. They don't, they, 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 they don't give a like fuck about quality. Too. And this, this, yes, they, they don't give a fuck about quality. This is, but this movie didn't come. I doubt that this movie came about by pitching it to Netflix. I bet this. I, this guy is a vetted filmmaker, dude. He probably yeah. made the movie he wanted to make, and Netflix said, "I we like it. We want to distribute it." 
Who you might be right in some other cases. They saw it at a film a, festival. Uh, you, don't exactly. film. you don't know who paid for this film. Exactly, what Tad just said. What Tad just said. You don't know who paid for this film. You don't know. We could find out. Anyway, yeah, find I mean, out. it's it's watching, foreign. Watching this, movie, more. Watching would be this the movie made me think of my favorite. <laughs> watching this movie made me think of my favorite Billy Bob movie. A movie from last year, speculate. which was um, A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. Yeah, yeah I got I got those I vibes. Interfere with my opinion. Yeah, but you know what? That movie is really fucking good. Yes, it is. Like it's like uh, this is the funhouse mirror version of that movie. What's really fucking good? A girl, a girl walks, walks home, home at night. night. Oh, yeah. at night. But I, I did I did see the I resemblance. Think I did think of that film. At probably one tenth, at probably one tenth the budget the too. Oh yeah, that movie was made for seven dollars and and a very yeah. small they scale. They spent most of it on the skateboard. Yes, yeah, and it was fucking yeah. brilliant, like, man. It really was it's so good. Mm-hmm. It's and 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 uh, speaking of music, the music in that movie is so. But, good. The, oh. but, that but film, this is this is very much actually the, this. This movie this has very much good. the don't make me think about better movies. And I mm-hmm. thought about better movies through the entire thing. I was like, I could be watching Blade. I could be watching Bram Stoker's Dracula. I could be watching A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. I enjoyed I, the cinematography though. It reminded me of yeah, yeah, girl, a girl, and it reminded me of Roma and other you know things that are oh, like. Oh, there were times, there were times because where it worse because I'm just really like, good. oh, I love these visuals, but I hate this oh, movie. Ter- right. like, there were times where it looked really good. Other times it looked like, well, this was shot on a red camera, and then they desaturated it and made it into black Man, and white. Mm. Jared, turn the chrome yeah. off, and you love everything. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the way it looked. I, I'm not. I didn't love the movie. Oh man, who knows. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, Chris. It looks great. It All right, sucks. Chris. This is your fucking fault. What do you got to say for yourself? Well, it's not. I mean, so the, <laughs> listen. You know, Sandy. Sandy goes. Have you seen the trailer for this movie called El Conde? And like, I don't even know what the hell that is. And she shows me the trailer. I'm like, that looks sort of amusing. Yeah. And so we watch. Like, like we like this movie a lot. Gloom Girl liked it so much. She's been going on a tear through this guy's other movies, and he's definitely got a thing about Pinochet because he's made multiple movies using I Pinochet. can't imagine why Chilean why? Gee, I, I can't wonder, imagine gee, yeah. I, yeah, gee, I, gee, he I is, wonder why he is <laughs> Chilean well sure and, and I, I mean I guess we got to give that is, is Sandy going to buy a helicopter ride movie, t-shirt is that where yeah. this is well going? he's obviously interested in, in political figures as well this movie is not subtle but this is I thought I thought it, I mean I took it as all it was all satire oh it is yeah. And it uh, is. Yeah, it's supposed I, to be. It's not funny. It's I'm the one here usually yes. defending the latest Wes Anderson movie. And so I'm like, well, this kind of feels like what would happen if you know somebody gave Wes Anderson money to make a vampire movie because it's weird and goofy and if everything. If Wes Anderson made a vampire movie, it would be interesting. Yeah. Well, we didn't think this wasn't interesting. And we love the guy. This guy has a stable of actors that he uses over and over and over again. And they're all not, none, of the, none of the problems with this movie is the actors. And, it's um, not the filming. It's, I, it, there, there were individual sequences that, I mean, yes, it's a bit of a shaggy dog and it's sort of all over the place. But, and Gloom Girl called the Thatcher thing like five minutes in. You know, she says, this, this sounds like Gillian, Gill, Gillian Anderson doing her Margaret Thatcher. And like, ah, that's actually pretty perceptive. Here we go. Here we go. But yeah. I, I, I I understand. Well, <laughs> Again, we're on the same she, page. She looks she's all. Page. He's a vampire. Not subtle, but I get it. So, um, so I do think this guy. This guy's really talented. We were we're halfway through a show right now. He's he did an Apple called Lizzie's Story with Clive Owen and Julianne Moore and oh, wow. Jennifer Jason Lee. Wow. And based on a Stephen King book, and it's I mean it's it's uh, really well done. Oh, you just turned oh. off. So I, I, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to nine months from now him coming out a movie about about Pinochet as a Frankenstein. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Well, but his other movies were not fantastic. Or maybe a, or maybe a, a doctor. Yeah, no, yeah. Pinochet's gonna a assemble. Monster. A, Pinochet's gonna Jane Joker Austen Austen together. And, uh, <laughs> we enjoyed the Kirk caricatures. We all the people the- he ordered murdered. He's gonna cut them he's up gonna and get, sew, he's together. Gonna sew them up and make like a, literally. Yeah, and again, you know, Pinochet's brand new, monster. You know, like, God damn it! Right. <laughs> and Alex Garland's gonna direct it, and all the parts fit perfectly, and there's no scenes. Uh, yeah. Sorry. So you guys, last week there just wasn't enough yelling and people talking over each other. This is much better. Especially well, that's because Tad and Jared weren't here. I also, know. <laughs> also, with me breaking up all the time, this guy. Hey, answer your Scott, Scott's question. Scott's been yelling. Like, oh, Scott's oh. been yelling more. Scott's been yelling more than me for the record today. And whatever tonight. he does, because, he starts to break up and freeze. Because, because I, because I, I have to. Because, 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 because not I'm one of you fuckers has mentioned like that. Better ridiculous hotel hookup here. This is not one of you guys has mentioned. 
all the members of only, only jackets. <laughs> she oh, did. Oh, when I saw my first one, I was like, yes, I know exactly when. This oh, I happened. own three of them myself, dude. I was like, hey, right he braided on, my man, closet. Right on. I think. Are you the last member of members only? We yeah, we like this he movie is. a lot. You, Sorry, I am the last <laughs> member, and you can't join. Members only guy. Okay, that's good. Wear one next week. I want to see what it looks like. I they still make them, dude. I, I, I just bought. You can one. buy them. What? Yeah. With, yeah. With still can we do like that? That's crazy. That's uh, that's Not wonderful. Happened. All right, where are we at yeah. with this? And I, I, you're we wrong. Like, we liked it. Um, this is one for me and one for her. Hard uh, pass. Right, right in the middle. Because it right. looks so wow. good. We were it that's the most that's great. the most all over the map I've seen in months. <laughs> I like well, the flying nun. Mm -hmm. I thought yeah, that I like the flying vampire, dude. I like the flying vampire, man. That shit well, was some cool. Some of those shots oh, of him God. flying around look really fake. 